Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Novgo Bear. This is the first episode we are recording today. So bear with me if my understanding of what exactly was going on is not perfect. In fact, it's going to be pretty atrocious. So, I don't know, hang in there. Uh, I, can rem I can see that we are invading Sweden and Denmark, which is nice. We can piece them out individually and annex them. Uh, we really don't want any more vassals because we're already over our limit. We have uh, Ireland, Thuringia, Tyrol, Ukraine, and Punjab. So we're definitely over our limit. Although we can annex Thuringia somewhat soon-ish. So we should probably get relations up with this moron. Although we don't even have to. We might be able to sell him some stuff maybe. I mean, he's a Saxon culture. So we could potentially sell him a whole bunch of Saxon land and just have a nice Saxon vassal. That's a possibility. Wouldn't want to uh, miss out on an opportunity of having a nice Saxon vassal. And the same thing with Tyrol. He's Austrian. So we could have a nice Austrian vassal. Well, I'll keep I'll keep it as an option, I guess. But I do want to trim down our vassals a little bit. One guy that I'm not going to get rid of is Punjab. Punjab is going to eat a whole bunch of land over here. He is in the culture group for this northern Indian group. So we can sell him pretty much anything in there, and he can core it all for us. It's nice. Make an EU4 tutorial that has every little detail in it. Uh, that'd be nice, except that the game changes pretty frequently, and that's not really possible. That's why I haven't done it yet. There's a lot of people making suggestions to make tutorials, but uh, it doesn't really work because the game constantly changes. I mean, like, all the time. Anywho, we are pulling some trade ships out over here. Let me slow down to speed 3 just so I can keep track of where we are. Uh, trade ship's going to come on out. Oh, shoot. A whole bunch of things. Improving relations with us, improving relations with us, improving relations with us. Interesting. So it's probably just because we loaded the uh, save file here. Oh, uh, Persia has pieced out with Kara Koinlu. Kara Koinlu concede defeat. Okay. And yeah, this is a fresh load of the save file, so I would not be surprised if there were some anomalous things that are happening that just don't make any sense. Uh, trade ships, please go back to the Baltic Sea. That is where our capital is. Although we may be moving our capital to Lubeck. Maybe. Uh, the Baltic is where we currently have our, our trade capital. And oh my god, we make so much on that. Actually, we don't even need it, do we? We don't need our ships over here. That would be silly. Hmm. Our trade capital is in Riga, right. We might want to put our ships somewhere else. Uh, where would it be useful? Now well, let's put it in Lubeck. Lubeck. Ooh, privateer. Ooh, I'm tempted to start privateering. Maybe over here in the Netherlands? Oh, man. Lubeck has 20, 20, about 28 and a half total value. It's worth a lot more than the Baltic. Damn. Um, oh, I don't think I should pirate, though. Pirating's just... I remember how bad it was last time. Let's just patrol Lubeck for now. We'll figure out something to do with these guys. The train, train ships were in the Novgorod trade node. I don't think that would make any sense. Why would they be in the Novgorod trade node? We have... a a perfect control on the Novgorod trade node. Anyway, go to Lubeck. There you go. And just sort of keep that stranglehold there. The only place that pushes into the Baltic is Krakow and Novgorod. And we don't really have much control over Krakow, so we're doing Novgorod as much as possible. But uh, Baltic pushes to Lubeck, and Lubeck takes trade from a lot of places, so we might move our trade capital to Lubeck at some point. All right, uh, let's see. We're colonists about to arrive in Taiwan. Good times. Can't wait for that. And we're moving troops over to start fighting Lithuania. Now, we cannot... Oh, we want a battle with really crazy numbers. Yeah, when you load a save file, it pops up crazy numbers like that. There weren't 70 million people there, trust me. Anywho, we were uh, not going to be able to peace out with Sweden or Denmark for a little while because we are... Oh, there's our colony. Can't, can't, can't be out Sweden or Denmark because we're currently coring a bunch of lands and we're at our overextension limit. So these cores have to finish before we can accept any more land. And I don't want any vassals because we're, we're above our vassal limit already. So, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, killing some rebels in India. Good times. 
There's a lot of rebels. You know. National Revolt Risk is at plus two right now because we have, or plus three even, because of overextension. Russian-French relations are okay. He likes us, but we don't really like him. He likes us 150. Uh, we don't like him, though. Irritated over claims. He's fabricated claims on us, or he had events that gave him claims on us. Uh, we have a little bit of border friction, and we're both competing great powers. Oh, and he has uh, a ruler that has a weak claim. Look at that. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, that would be amusing. That would be wrong. I'm thinking of going there and just stealing his throne. But as a noble... No, we're not even a noble republic. We're an administrative republic. We can't marry anyone, so... There is that. Oh, did they leave? Did Lithuania stop sieging? It looks like they did. Yep. They stopped. They were sieging Semigalia and they just they left. I wonder if they're going to come fight uh, Ukraine down here. Could be. Ukraine is sieging up his cores, which is really nice. I'm glad he's doing that. Well, we'll see what happens, I guess. Vassal simulator? Yes, pretty much. Oh, Brandenburg has a constitutional monarch. Relations. Yep, he's going for my vassal. That's okay. We'll come down and protect the vassal. But first, I need to kill these rebels. Hopefully, we get there before they succeed, but we may not. Oh, cool. We killed all the rebels, too. Very nice. Okay, you guys can group up. Wait, no, no, no. Those are trade ships. Never mind. Don't group up the trade ships. And you finished sieging Bornholm, but I think I'll leave those guys there. Because if we get any rebels or something, I want to make sure we can defend there. Oh, there's the rebels. Imereti, okay. Assam, okay. And Cochin, okay. That's fine. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of rebels, but we can handle it. We have a very good general over here. So go do that. And then I'll go to Cochin a little bit later. Do we want to use the Gor Dorno Govi general? Probably. Actually, you just take that army down here. Yeah. Hmm, how many troops is that? It's not that many. We might want a third army down there. Yeah, I might want to spare one of these armies. Hmm. 12, 4, 4, 13, 3, 5. That's probably fine. Oh, no, they're recruiting more guys. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, my God, we're losing 44 ducats a day or a month. Whoa. We have three colonies, Sakhalin, Aldan, and Taiwan. Uh, this one's absolutely necessary. Oh, that one's done. What are you even doing there? All done. Where the fuck is all done? Colonies. All done. Oh, right there. Okay. We well, should be down there then. My dude was protecting the wrong colony. Uh, Sakhalin and Taiwan. Well, I want to keep Taiwan going. It's just very expensive. Hmm... God, these things are expensive. We don't even have mercenaries. It's just all troops. And we're not over our force limit either. Wow. Our economy is garbage. Our taxation rate is 1%. Why is that so bad? Is it because of our overextension? Trade power abroad, minus 100. Mercenary cost, plus 50. Diplomatic reputation, minus 2. Better relations over time, minus 25. Revolt risk, plus 5. Stability cost, plus 50. No. This has no effect on taxes, unless revolt risk affects taxes. We've already attacked Spain a lot of times. I think twice already. Yeah, why, why are we only getting 1% on our taxes? It doesn't seem right. No, we're already at stability 1. I'm not going to go to stability 2 just to get a couple more dollars. 
And we don't have any inflation either. What in the world? We're not really paying much for advisors. They're all level one. And we're not over our force limits, so it's not that. Revolt risk reduces taxes. Let me see. Revolt risk, minus 70%. Ah, that's what it is. That's what it is. So if we click on Tambov here. Revolt risk, minus 37%. Okay. So revolt risk is giving us a lot of lost taxes. Unfortunately, there is no advisor available at the moment to lower our revolt risk, which really sucks. Hmm. All right, well, let's see if we can rush over here and kill these guys. We'll probably do... We'll probably do... Uh, war taxes to save on some dollars. Still losing money every month, but not as... War taxes reduces the cost of your army by 20%. Oh, shit. Denmark has peasant rebels. Lol. Damn it, Denmark. I don't want to fight your peasants, but I'm going to have to, unless we support him. Can I support him? I don't want to support him. Ooh. Can we get there in time? We're almost there. But he is at a one out of four chance of succeeding every time it ticks. Calling damage in Alden, that's fine. Come on. Damn it. Uh, I don't think we need to accept their demands. We would lose 25 prestige, which is not bad, but we're almost there anyway. Oh, Brandenburg left the coalition against us. Really? Really? That means I can go in next to you? Oh my god, I want to go in next to Brandenburg so much right now. That would be amazing. Wow, they died quick. There we go. All right, so group up, split in half. Um, let's take some guys to Ostprusen, and the others can. Oh, I don't know. Just stay in Riga for now. Brandenburg is improving relations. Really, he wants to be a friend. I'm surprised how many people are suddenly improving relations. Oh shit, rebels. Um, yeah, do that and then come back. Okay. Novgo node, best node? Nah, the, the Novgorod node is not that good. Come on, Ukraine, get your damn core. Okay, Denmark is done. Uh, I really can't even walk over there, can I? Alright, just stay in Finn, no problem. All right, we made it to a song. Good times. Core core creation cost. I mean, core creation is going as smoothly as planned. Hmm. Aristocratic. I kind of want to get admin for their adaptability. That's so nice. And Pluto, obviously. Pluto is really nice. More mercs available. More morale of armies. Revolt risk goes down. 
Pluto's just all around good. Siege ability plus 20. Sure, why not? Oh, get him, Ukraine. We lost a claim on Ningbolu. Okay. Get him, Ukraine. Let's go help. Actually, it looks like Ukraine has already won that. Nope, not yet. Alright, let's go take out Poland's army. I hope we don't get called for peace here, but we might. Come on, kill him. DR, drop PAT authority. Drop patriarchal authority. Why? Oh my god, are they going to squish? No. Oh, they did. Oh my god, they squished. Poor Poland. But he's not the war leader, is he? And we have three claims on his ass. Oh, how much would it cost to full annex you? Oh, he's only 175. So if we take if we take about 90% out of him in this war, then next time we can vassalize him. Good times. Ukraine bear strong? Yeah, Ukraine bear is doing all right. I have to agree with that. Okay, we're in Kachin. Let's go back. And you guys can take them out. Patriarchal Authority lowers taxes. That's true. Uh, but you also get missionary strength and it lowers national revolt risk by three. Well, no, that's not true. It lowers revolt risk in Orthodox provinces by three. Mm, I kind of like it. Well, I'm just going to get these cores in, so let's speed up time. And we're going to have to take care of these stupid rebels, so let's send this army over there. Stupid rebels, get out of here. Go to war with Ayat Hayat? Yeah, we could. But we don't really need to. We're a little busy anyway. Okay, got a claim on Bok and Beijing. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let us fabricate on York. Good times. What do you think you're doing here? Hello, Lithuania. How are you today, Lithuania? Looking good. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yep, see ya, Blast. Revolt in Yedison. Alright, well, I'm glad I'm here for this revolt. Good times. All right, Shangxi, you are good to go. Can I have your general? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to put you in this army. We're going to take out these idiots in Jaland. Stupid Danish rebels. 
There should be a stable government. Lose admin points or lose prestige. I'll lose the prestige. Because it's pretty easy to get it back. Revolt in Danzig. Okay. And Bhutan. And the Ottomans have pieced out hedges. Oh my god. He took... Tabuk, Kenna, Berber, Najd, Dongola, and Suakin. So he took all of Egypt. Well, there you go. Ottomans OP. And he's still at war. Fucking Ottomans, man. Danzig. 28,000 Riggan nationalists. Ugh. Alright. It's a good thing I have 240,000 manpower. Jesus. Are we actually gonna, we're gonna get there in time. Holy shit. Did not expect that. Did not expect to make it. Coffee is good as a trade good? It is. Coffee is very valuable in this game. As it should be. Okay, let's get you on the boats. Go dump them off in Hinterpommern. Come on. Oh my god, he's actually sieging me again. Fuck you, Lithuania, go away. No one likes you. Uh-oh, the trial. What could this be? My most noble pro Posnadik. No, my most noble Posadnik. Posnadik. Your eldest son is on trial for corruption. Really? What did he do? Withdraw from public life. Gain tradition or lose tradition. Ooh, free points on everything. Nice. Free points! Everybody gets free points! Uh, yep. Yeah. I like free points. On the boat you go. And group up. And group up. And squish the rebels. Oh great, more, more rebels. That's exactly what I wanted for Christmas. More rebels. How did you know, game? It's like you can read my mind. I want rebels. Well, these guys, I need to get them out of there because they're they're in a place that I need to core. Um, yeah, come on down. Go over there. I will steal a general. Hmm, Rebel Simulator. Did someone Rebels? Yep, indeed. Are we doing a multiplayer game soon? We do them every Saturday. Every Saturday. Alright, to Sichuan. Come on, kill them. Good boy. You did it for the emoticons. Yeah, me too, man. I got Twitch partnered for the emoticons. More rebels? Stupid mountain provinces. It's a fucking pain in the ass just to move back and forth over here, and they're all mountains and you always cross rivers. It's just never a good place to fight, but what can you do? Oh, 23. All right. Um, you do it. There we go. 
More rebels, of course. Of course. Come on. Are you done? Oh, you were finished. Okay. All right, cores are coming in. Good times, good times. That one went the first because we had a claim on it. You core things faster if you have claims. Neat, huh? Scotland left the coalition against us. Oh my god, who are you allied to? Nobody! He has no allies. Oh my god, it's like Christmas! It's like fucking Christmas! All these people that I can declare war on because they have no allies. I, I can't pass this up. I have to do this. I have to do this. You understand that I have to kill you. Yes, yes, Mr. Superman is not here. How can they not have any allies? Oh my god, stop with the rebels, I'm trying to core this shit. Fuck's sake, dude, I'm trying to core this shit. Motherfucker. Look at that, he stopped both coring progress on these two. Motherfucker. We converted Kamdo. Good times. So we have some Orthodox land here in Tibet now. That's kind of neat. Let's convert Kam. 24% revolt risk. Sure. Sure, why the fuck not? Let's just get revolt risk out the ass. Tripoli is independent. Okay. Yeah, good times. From the Ottomans. Wow, the Ottomans can't police their own land. That's amusing, really. Get them! Kill them! Those motherfuckers! Ah, oh, more rebels. Stop it! Three more stacks of rebels. For fuck's sake, I'm trying to core shit. Oh, Lancashire. Ugh. Okay. On the boat. Go here. Well, Ukraine's doing a good job of sieging up his lands. So we can annex him soon. It's nice. There'll be a lot of points to use, but it's nice that we can annex him soon. Uh, we're going to have to go save Wenden. That's fine. Uh, Bhutan is okay. You're going up there. There's more rebels up there. But I think this one army can handle all of that. He's, he's amazing. Uh, these guys. Oh, we just got there. Good. Kord Guyan. Okay. All right, you go to Winden. Go this way. Another core. So what's our overextension? 48. All right, so it's time to annex Sweden. 72 overextension for Sweden. Really? What about Denmark? Fifty-two for Denmark. The thing is, as soon as we piece these guys out, Scotland and Brandenburg are going to coalition us again. But I don't think I have much choice. I think I have to do this anyway. All right. Denmark is first. What Denmark? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're referring to. All I know is Russia. There is no Denmark. Yeah, Ukraine's doing an excellent job of sieging stuff.
Okay, so the Ottomans are now at peace. That's fine. Yeah, Lancashire is going to be an issue, unfortunately, but I think we can handle it. It's just a lot of rebels. Okay, you guys have arrived in Gwynedd. Can we pick up more troops? I'd rather have a, a stupidly large army than a stupidly small army, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. Alright, kill them. Oh, China Ware in Taiwan. Oh my god. Didn't we have a mission for that? No, we don't have that mission. Oh man, there used to be a mission available to get China Ware. Oh well, we'll just take it. Thank you for the China Ware. Alright, you guys are pretty much done. I think Ukraine can handle the war from here. So let's get you down to Ostrus and you can just relax. Put your feet up. Take them out, and then them, and then go back to Sichuan. Or Shaanxi, actually. Shaanxi. I know what I meant to say. Okay, more cores coming in. Good, good. And Ukraine. We're going to have to start improving relations with you. Because we're going to be annexing you. No more Ukraine. Ukraine is game to you? Yeah, pretty much is. Rebels? Oh, come on. Get off your high horse, you fucking rebels. You ain't no better than anyone else. Alright, pick him up. And let's roll. Now I'll give you this general, because we don't need it. Okay. So let's start the invasion... Well, no. No, let's start the invasion of Poland. Oh, another core. Hebe. Nice, 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 nice. Invasion of Poland. One, two, three. One, two, three. And let's go this way. I think he's dealing with rebels right now, so I'm not sure how much we should really invade here. We want a hot water port. Um, well, we have the Black Sea. That counts as a hot water port, right? We also have Basra, and I know the Persian Gulf counts as a hot water port. So I'm not sure where you're talking about, where you, where you want another port. Uh, but you know what? That's going to be it for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Chen, you have been you. Come back next time for further adventures in the land of Navgober. Uh, good things are happening. France has not pieced out yet, but when they do, we're going to lose a little bit of relations. It won't be enough to break our alliance, though, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, good things is that Scotland and Brandenburg have both left the coalition, which means if we can find a way to get them into a war, we can just go ahead and annex their dumbass. Denmark is gone. Sweden will be gone. Next episode, we'll be annexing Sweden, as soon as we have uh, reduced our overextension to below 30%, because it costs 72% overextension for just those three territories. Uh, and then once that's gone, then we're going to piece out Poland individually. We're going to take uh, these four provinces. And then once that's done, then we're going to piece out Lithuania to give these three provinces back to our vassal of Ukraine. Then we're going to annex Ireland and the Ukraine. But that's all next episode, so I'll see you then. Have a good day.